Hi, my name is Mani Gupta. I'm representing the Lego Sotic team. Today I want to demonstrate what our design concept is. So let's have a, have a look at the prototype. So as you can see, like this is just like the internal portion. It doesn't actually uh, specify the actual product, but this will give us a good idea about the process. So the first step in the process is inputting the Lego pieces. So your user just adds the pieces. Now the machine sit, sits in idle mode. It will actually wait for the user to like select which kind of shapes they want to uh, sort. Once they have done that and they have actually pressed the OK button, so the machine will start operating. Now in filter we carry out two steps. One step is to uh, filter, so basically in filter what we do is we reduce the input or we handle only small amount of input uh, at a given time. And in the second step what we do is we uh, the parallel objects which actually flow through are actually uh, handled in sequential order so the IR system which is the next step is actually uh, provided the input in sequential order so one piece at a time once that's done this conveyor actually transports that material and the IR system starts uh, working and they recognize the pieces now note in this state two things can happen either we are able to uh, recognize the object and if we are able to recognize they are actually given uh, they are sent to the sorted uh, bin compartment if the object is not recognizable which happens in two cases one uh, there is a foreign object which which uh, the system is not supposed to recognize so that goes into the error bin and if if it's a lego piece but like that's the piece which user doesn't want it straight away goes to the error bin now IR like once it's uh, done with its work and the system uh, all the pieces are sorted user has the option to actually remove these bins and basically use them for their projects and that's basically the underlying uh, design concept.